Well, howdy friends and welcome back to the kitchen. Now in the last video we made uh, pizza dough quick and easy and it is delicious and I told you that we were gonna all make our own pizza. Well, I did a charcuterie pizza board and y'all seen the picture already. It was so pretty and it made it so fun. Making now I pizzas. cook it in my oven and I put it on um, convection bake and it only takes eight minutes at 450 degrees to cook a pizza. So I can put three in there at a time. So we're going to get them out at about the same time and I'll sit down together and have pizza and share if we okay, want to. Okay, I've browned off some Italian sausage and some hamburger meat. And I've got my onions and my bell peppers in the freezer. I'm going to bring them out. And I have olives to chop and um, let's see, mushrooms already done. And Lori is making the red sauce. Yeah. A teaspoon. Uh, of garlic. Of onion. onion. A tablespoon. Okay, Lauren's making fresh out of canned tomatoes uh, red sauce. And she probably put three tables, two tablespoons of minced garlic that she's just minced here to use. She put a half a teaspoon of garlic, granulated garlic. She's going to put about a tablespoon of onion powder. And we'll put a tad of salt in it. And we're going to whiz it up and taste it and see if that's about what she wants on her pizza. She likes to make her own sauce instead of using the bot sauce. That is the coolest little blender. The Needy Homesteader showed that on one of her videos. And I loved it, so I found me one. Let me taste it and see what it needs. It needs some salt. Lauren put about half a teaspoon and then we'll go from there. I'm enjoying my granddaughter being here. I don't have her very often. College work keeps her busy. We'll whiz it and we'll taste the candy. Contaminate it. That's about perfect. Good deal. Okay, what Lauren has done, she has uh, minced some garlic and it's just in olive oil. And she put a little bit of herb seasoning that came with some bread dipping stuff that we got from Carabas. And it just adds a little extra flavor to it. You might have to put a little extra olive oil to make that spread, but this is her first step on her. She's going to put her garlic base down, and then she'll put some of the tomato stuff, and I'll come back and show you. Okay, Miss Lauren has got her, her tomato stuff that she mixed up on her pizza. First, she put her garlic in oil, and then her tomato sauce, and now she's got cheese. And what else are you going to put on yours? Fresh tomato? Okay, now I'm going to bring y'all over here. We're going to slice up. Well, I'll just bring it over here to the meet me at the butcher block. And I'll slice up some tomato for hers. And I'm going to slice it pretty thin. If you want to be proper, it's thinly. And I could squeeze the seed out, but she likes them. So I'm going to leave them in here. Now, I'm making a charcuterie board over there for the rest of us, but she's picky. So we'll get to load. My the adopted grandson's on his way over, and we're going to make, everybody's going to make their own pizza. Baby, that isn't enough, is it? Yeah. Is that, you want some more cheese on the top? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I see you? You're going to get a spanky, you little shy thing. Okay. And I'm going to cook them in the convection oven so they'll all be ready. I mean, I've got my oven on convection, so they'll all get ready about the same time. Now, I think i got to turn it off right now. Okay. Mine's ready. Okay, I'll have to get a, a shot of it. Yeah, get out. 
Okay, pizza number one. This is Lauren's. It has an olive oil and garlic base with her homemade tomato sauce on it and uh, provolone and mozzarella cheese mixed and then some Italian blend cheese. So hers will be the first one. We're fixing to make some more. Okay, we've got a pizza charcuterie. And remember, I told you that my friend JJ makes these boards. I will leave a link below to JJ's uh, Shopworks, his Facebook page, and then you can message him the order. I've got both of our cheeses. We have ground burger, sp fresh spinach, pepperoni, more pepperoni, uh, onions, bell pepper, red and green and yellow that was frozen. Uh, I've got mushrooms. We have, this is Renfro smoked sausage that I get at Berkshire Brothers at Cleveland. It's made in Lufkin, Texas, and I had cooked some, so I thought I'd slice it up. We'd use some of that. Fresh tomatoes and spinach, pineapple, Josh wants pineapple. And then this is our Italian sausage. And I know that that's what it is because I put it by the red and the green, so I would know. Then I have Alfredo sauce for Troy and Richard, probably Josh. And then this is Lauren's homemade tomato. And if I had put this on the table, it would look a whole lot prettier. But let me just tell you, I think it's pretty just like it is. Don't y'all wish you was here? Good grief, we could have a party. You wanted everything but spinach, and you want Alfredo on yours? Okay, Troy wants Alfredo. And all the goodies, but no spinach. He just doesn't want to be healthy, I guess. Y'all ever make y'all's with Alfredo? Makes a good pizza. Okay, then I'm, since my hands are clean, I'm going to do it my way. If they were doing it, I'd probably make them and put some of each kind. Don't y'all love that charcuterie board? I'm so proud to have that. It just makes it fun. Okay, now Troy wants everything, so he wants some beef. Black olives. The kids don't care for this all this other stuff too much, and he'll want some pepperoni in his. Oh, no spinach for Troy. Get out of there. A little bit of this around. Um, a little bit of the sausage here. Mushrooms. You want onions and bell pepper? No. I love you, baby. He's going to have mostly meat on his. Let's see if I can pick him some onion out of there. Now I need to put a little extra around these edges and try to roll that forward some. Makes it look more like a tart, but it sure makes it good at the edges. Happy spring break, kiddos. Okay, this is Richard's. He had Alfredo on the bottom with cheese, spinach, and mushrooms, and that's all he wanted. So his is ready. Now we're going to do Josh's. Let's see what Josh wants. Josh wants red sauce on his. Josh, hold that up and just pour some, and I'll smear it around. 
probably quite all of it actually. Yeah. You want a little bit of white mixed with it or is this going to be sufficient? That's going to be good. Okay, what else did you want? Uh, cheese, pineapple, I guess I'll do the rest of those vegetables. Oh, there's plenty more of them. Look in the icebox in there. Wait a minute, they're in the freezer. Uh, here, I'll run get them. Meanwhile, put you some of this cheese and there's some more cheese right over there. That enough? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now what else? Yeah, pineapple? Mmm. Tropical pizza. Now we need to put some cheese around the edges to fold it up over. Is that all you wanted? Oh, uh, yeah. You don't want sausage, pepperoni, none of that? Oh, I guess we're going to throw some pepperoni on here. That's pretty, Josh. Here's a little tilt that up a little bit. Well, I'm going to use up another can of that to have some to dip. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just empty this on yours. Man, this pizza dough is awesome. It's so soft. I can't, I'll make y'all some calzones out of it one day, too. And we'll know that's Josh's because of the pineapple. And here's mine. And here's Troy's. Oh, my goodness. Let me roll back over here and talk to y'all again. I am full up to here and I only ate two pieces of pizza, but it was so good. Oh my, the kids enjoyed theirs and the good thing about it is when you want a pizza, you can make this crust and have it ready to bake in 30 minutes. By the time you get all your stuff chopped and ready, uh, your pizza crust is ready to roll out and make a pizza. So I hope y'all will try the recipe for the crust and put every what kind of toppings on it you want. But let me know that you tried it and that you liked it. On my crust, I sprinkled a little onion and garlic powder. And I didn't remember which crust was mine. And I didn't get that one. So I don't know who got my crust. We got them mixed up. But anyhow, you can do that and add a little. I added a little bit into the dough also. But I also sprinkled it on after I rolled it out. So you can do all kinds of stuff. Put you some Italian seasoning on it or whatever. Try the recipe and let me know. We had a ball today in the kitchen. All these kids making a mess with me, making their pizza. They were so excited. And then all of us around the dinner table together. Well, it got real quiet for a while because everybody was shoving that pizza down. But we made memories. And I told Troy after the kids went out in the sunroom and we were still sitting at the table, I said, I need to be sewing aprons, but I did this because I'm going to spoil those kids and make all the memories I can. Because they will never have years like the ones I had at their age. America as we knew it then is not like that now. So I'm going to make all of the sitting around the dinner table sweet memories with them that I can so that someday when they're in a dire strait, they can look back and say, oh, remember that time we was at Nana's? Remember that day we made pizza? Y'all do the same thing. Gather your family around. Make some memories that you can think back on when times are hard or less pleasant or you don't feel good. It's just kind of like a ray of sunshine. It cheers you up. So gather them around the table. Y'all got 400 videos from me and only a few of them are not food. So if you only looked at mine, you could feed your family for a long time and it's some plenty good food. So gather them around the table. Make some memories. Uh, feed them good food, give them something to look forward to. Don't make them look forward to pizza rolls or frozen pizza or a frozen corn dog put in the microwave. Cook some food for your family. Alright, I'm going to get off my soapbox. Have to be real careful stepping up and down. 
and I'm going to plan my next video, and I'll be back with something good in a day or two. The good Lord bless and keep y'all, and be sure if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you'll be notified when I upload a video because my internet don't always put them out at the time that I have them scheduled for. Sometimes it takes 10 hours longer, so that way you'll know. But generally, it's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And also, if you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. I like that. I don't know what kind of points it gives me. I guess I need to research that, but it gives me some kind of points. And I like points if they're in my favor. So thank you for watching. Come back in a day or two, and I'll have something else good for you to watch.